Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I was recently asked, how would you implement drag and drop functionality into Edge Animate? And that's what I'm going to cover right now. And what I have here are some various parts to uh, this character, and I want to be able to drag and drop these parts onto the body here. Okay, so that's the functionality that I want. And really, I can take a look at all the actions for that particular object that I have selected. And there's quite a few things, but there's no drag and drop. But what's nice about Edge Animate is I could extend the functionality by adding additional libraries as well, uh, such as a jQuery UI. And that's what I want to use for this, because jQuery UI has this draggable and droppable feature that I want to take advantage of. So go to jQueryUI.com forward slash download, select the latest version, click download, and it'll be on your desktop. Now you can go through the documentation, but really all you need is this one file right here. So again, all this code that I didn't have to write, I can copy that file and put it right in here where my Edge Animate file is. Okay, and all this contains are some graphics. So let's open it up. Now to use that, uh, all the JavaScript in there, I gotta load it into my, uh, my project here. So uh, I wanna make sure all my Edge Animate graphics are loaded, so the entire stage needs to be loaded first. So I'm gonna click right here, those two curly braces, and I'm gonna say, hey, you know what? On creation complete, when everything's loaded in, then load in that jQuery UI library. And I'm gonna use yep, nope to do this. And uh, this really just says, hey, you know what? Load in that particular file, okay? And once it's loaded in and everything's ready to go, all the code is there, then fire off this init function. Okay, so that's what this does. Okay, so that's all you need to know about it. And then I can create that function. Here's my init function. All right, and now I can Use the code, yeah, use draggable, droppable, all that good stuff. But first, I need to tell Edge Animate what I want to drag and drop. So I'll say, basically pick the, um, the item, and uh, what is it known as? Well, put that right in here the item name okay so this is usually where I'll do a copy and paste as well finding that particular object happens to be a symbol has an animation inside of it too but I can copy that name and then paste it right in here okay now with it uh, with me basically pointing to it from the timeline if you will I can go ahead and say draggable there we are alright well it could it be that easy let's take a look it runs, click, and now it's draggable. Okay, so I can move it around, I can drop it onto him. Okay, very cool what we can do. Uh, I don't have the hand cursor, so I might want to implement that. I also want to implement droppable. So there's a couple things you can do. I can say droppable. Again, I'm just typing in droppable for jQuery UI, and it will show me the code uh, for making this droppable just like that. Okay, so there's a lot it can do. Really, it's all about viewing the documentation, but I just show you, showed you how to take advantage of draggable, and now I want to take advantage of droppable. Okay, so right down here, just like I typed in draggable, I can type in droppable, and I can also have it fire off uh, a function uh, that will play the animation uh, inside of that part symbol. Okay, but I just want to point this out to you as a resource. So a couple things I need to do is jump back in here. First thing I said I would do is change the cursor. So right down here for those eyes, change that to the hand so they know they can just kind of drag it around. Say that works for me. Now to make it droppable, I'm going to open up the actions again right in here. Hey, everything's working great. Let's make it droppable. It's the same process. And really, I can point to the part, but do I want to point to the part? No, I actually want to say, hey, you know what? When you drop it onto this body, okay, so right here. When you drop it onto the body, then do something. So again, that's my target on the target. 
All right, so uh, once you drop it on there, fire off the droppable function. And inside of there, I want to say, hey, you know what? Drop function. Get symbol part. And then play. Seems like a long line, but basically I'm saying, hey, uh, play that timeline for uh, that part. Okay. And this is where it gets a little tricky. I condense everything down into one line uh, to kind of make it a little bit easier, but every for every opening curly brace, you have to add, actually right down here, this should be uh, opening curly brace, opening curly brace, you know, and then close out those two just like that. All right, that looks pretty good. I'd say that's set up, and again, I can put that across a couple lines if I want to, but that will make it droppable. It says, hey, you know what, for uh, that drop function, um, once it's dropped, fire off this function, which is basically playing the timeline for that part. So what's going to happen? It's going to jump in here for this part, and it's going to play this timeline. Okay? And notice how the timeline is not set to autoplay. All right, with that in place, again, I have the hand. I can move it over and drop it on, and we should see those eyes blink when I drop it. Okay, but if I drop it over here, notice nothing happens. So you can have a fun animation, whatever sort of, you know, congratulations, you dropped it on the right spot, whatever you need to can go here. But uh, that's how you can go ahead and use jQuery UI and ultimately uh, use uh, drag and drop functionality in your Edge Animate project.